Good, Good morning, morning Colts. Colts. I'm Adrian. And I'm Kevin, and this is KTV for Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. Did you have a good Valentine's Day and three-day weekend? I did, and we hope you all had a good one too, Colts. Hey, Kevin, have you been reading lately? Yes, I just read this book about Sojourner Truth that I borrowed from the library, and I just finished reading it. What should I do with it? Well, you should get your overdue library books returned so other students may enjoy them. Also, make sure to bring your student ID card to check out items from the library. They can scan the barcode to serve you more quickly and efficiently, and you can get to your book faster. Speaking of Sojourner Truth, Kevin, what do you know about her? Sojourner Truth was an American abolitionist and women's rights activist. Truth became an unspoken supporter for abolition, temperance, and civil and women's rights in the 19th century. After all her work in the Civil War, earned her an invitation to meet President Abraham Lincoln in 1864. While Truth accomplished many things, one of the most important things Sojourner Truth had done was how Truth helped African Americans escape to freedom on the Underground Railroad after moving to Battle Creek in 1857. Truth dedicated her life to fighting for a more equal home for African Americans. It's still very important and well known today. I bet Sojourner Truth had a lot of accountability. To learn more, let's see what Asher has to say about accountability. Accountability is where he or she is responsible in their everyday lives. One example is by picking up your trash. Instead of leaving behind garbage at lunch that somebody has left, be accountable and pick it up and throw it away. By leaving trash on the ground, it can pollute our planet. When there's more trash, it means our custodian, Tony, has more work to do. We can help our planet and Tony by being accountable and taking the initiative to throw away the trash. Thanks, Asher. One way we can show accountability is by not going in the math wing during lunch. Please remember that the math area is closed and off limits at lunch. This includes the hallway and the small courtyard between rooms 13 and 14. Students are only permitted in the math hallway if they are meeting a math teacher. If you wish to access the blacktop for lunch activities, please visit the gate between the gym and room 12. Now let's watch a video to learn more. Morgan, Red, come on, come on over here. Come on. Come on. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael, we're coming. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That appears to be a string. This string is blocking us from getting through. It is. But who cares? Let's go. Mr. Kirky! I'll certainly make sure not to go in the math wing during lunch. Speaking of lunch activities, what's on, your, what's on the lunch menu today? Today we have a cheeseburger, orange chicken and rice, a ham and cheese sandwich, and chicken tenders and fries. We will also have grab and go veggies. Please remember that the lunch menu will be will change depending on what we have. I heard the track season is coming up, so let's see what's happening in the sports corner with Kira. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Colts. Welcome to another day of sports. As a reminder, we have track season, which will start up in two weeks, so make sure to sign up as soon as possible. We also have a wrestling match today against Rincon Valley, so make sure to wish your friends that are on the team good luck. Also, another reminder is that only two family members are allowed to watch the home games. Now back to Kevin and Adrian in the KTV studio. Thanks, Kira. Let's root on the Kenilworth wrestling team. Hey, Adrian. Why aren't we allowed to wear our hoods on campus? Let's watch a video to learn more. 
Okay, guys, so you should not wear your hoods on campus. If you wear your hoods on campus, teachers may mistake you for an intruder and you could get in serious trouble. We need to keep our school safe, so make sure no hoods on your head. Hoods aren't allowed for safety reasons. We have almost 800 students here all at the same time, and we need to know who belongs here and who doesn't. If someone is on campus with a hood on, you can't tell who, you, who they are. Thank you for taking off your hood when you arrive and for taking it off when an adult reminds you about the rule. It's for all of our safety. Let's head over to the weather studio with Jada to see if we're going to need to wear a hood outside of school. Hello, Kenilworth. Welcome to the weather studio with me, Jada. Today, the clouds will fill the sky with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Tomorrow, the clouds will leave the sky for a nice and sunny day with highs of 68 degrees and lows of 41 degrees. On Thursday, it will again be sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 39. Also, for any of you living in Santa Rosa, today we'll have highs of 66 degrees and lows of 38 degrees. That's all for today, Colts. Make sure to dress for a warm week. Now back to Adrian and Kevin in the KTV studio. Thanks, Jada. If you're going to stay inside, you can use creativity to pass the time. Yeah. In some ways, you can use creativity as on your homework. You can do that by finding different ways to answer a problem, but to still get it right. You can even use it in your lives, like maybe decorating or touching up your room. Speaking of passing the time, we should learn more about the NAACP. Let's watch a video to learn more about them. The NAACP is an activist group for civil rights and social justice for black voices. More than 2,200 buildings are across the nation, and 2 million people participate in this group. The group started in 1909 when the race riot in Springfield, Illinois took, came in place. This was the state's capital, which was a major part in the riot. People all over the world could hear their chants. It was founded by Ida B. Wells, who was an American journalist, educator, and leader in this civil rights movement. She showed people of color that their voice can be heard. And today, they still stand up for what's right. Thanks, you, my name, Michaela. That's all for today, Colts. Remember to turn in your overdue library books. And no hoods on campus. And that's, that's KTV. KTV.